Welcome to Holton's Fix It 101 and today we're going to have a quick chat about this. Now this is the Bosch Professional G GKF 12V-8. Now it is a trim router um, from Bosch obviously and I've been using it now for a good couple of weeks and I found it to be absolutely brilliant I mean absolutely brilliant there are some more uh, videos online about this that other people have uh, done um, I welcome people to go and have a look at those if they're interested in buying one of these but I'm doing this video so I can put in my two pence worth to, to tell you what I found out about this router so uh, keep watching Now, at first glance, people will look at this router and think how small it actually is. And it is quite a small ergonomic design in your actual uh, palm of your hand. Um, it is designed to use one-handed, but two-handed is obviously recommended. But there are places here to put your uh, fingers, and we'll bring you in in a minute so we can have a good close-up of, of, of some of this stuff. Um, it fits in your hand absolutely lovely. Uh, they, they really have designed the, the shape of it so it fits in your hand. Um, several things that I found out about it as well. Um, you can get the bigger batteries but I've got the smaller ones as you can see here. Uh, these ones, little ones, they are 2 amp hours. Um, which is fine for what I do because I'm only going to use it as a trim router I'm not going to be using it as you know doing grooves or anything or you know rebates or anything like that I'm not going to be doing that so I will be just using it for trim routing and I have been uh, several things I found out about about this little thing though is that if you're a lefty then you know if you're a left-handed person I don't know how quite how you would get on with it and uh, a lot of people have reiterated what I've just said on, on their videos as well online um, be, because if you're a left-handed person it would be rather hard to use the trigger that's just there um, but for a right-handed person it's just right there to use with your with your thumb uh, but uh, we'll get you a better close-up of that in a minute uh, but it's quite light in your hands, even if you've got the battery installed, I'll put the battery in there, it, it, it's quite quite light in your hand um, to use, and it, it, it's not unintrusive. It, it's not like my old trim router that I used to have from uh, Ryobi, um, I've got it here, uh, my, my, my Ryobi trim, trim router that I've, that I've got, is this great big bulky thing here. This this is fine to use in your hands and everything else um, but as you can see it's got this great big part up above here and that's, and that's okay without a battery on there but when you start putting something like a 4 amp hour battery on the top of that like that it does become rather rather top heavy and when you're going around sort of like round a piece of wood uh, you know we've got half of the router actually resting on the wood it does get a bit unbalanced so that it's okay for what it was at the time uh, but you know I like to have something a little bit more ergonomic in my hand and this ticked all the boxes so we bring you in for a co cl closer look at all the, all the features of the router and everything else here we are and we'll have a closer look at the actual router and some of the bits that, that 
either come with it or I've had to buy as extras, optional extras as well. Um, this is how the router comes in the box. It comes just as a bare tool. Um, they only sell this as a bare tool as far as I'm aware. I haven't seen any websites that it has it as a full kit but I've had to buy the uh, batteries that are there. I've had to buy those which I got two of them off and I've also bought, had to buy the uh, charger which we will have a look at in a, in a second. But when you buy this in the box it comes with obviously the router, it comes with the spanner for obviously doing the collets and it comes with an instruction manual unfortunately I don't have the instruction manual here but being a man we'd throw them away anyway. So here we are I'll get, get you to have a, have a quick look around some of the features of this. Um, it's a little bit unwielding it, 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 to begin with when you're starting to use it because when you've got it in your hand like that the actual uh, collet is at the back uh, here when it was over the top of your palm which would be here. Now if you're using the uh, my old my old ro roby, the old cryobi, uh, you'll notice that when you're here and you're holding it with if I can get an angle for you here, uh, when you're holding it like that with your hand, then obviously you've got the bit right over the top of where your fingers are. So it's a slight difference in, in that in that sense. Um, there is a little bit you know, unwielding to begin with, you think, oh, is it touching, is it touching? And you keep trying to look, but it is a little bit, you know. Anyway, uh, the feet, many, many features of, the, of this thing. It has two nice uh, knurled steps here to put your hand on, so when you run in your fingers along a piece of wood, uh, you can actually hold that down it right, right there. So you can got got it in your hand like that, and you can put it along the piece of wood which is quite nice. Now it has micro adjustment as well as it has a uh, coarse adjustment. Uh, coarse adjustment is held by this uh, nut or well it's by this button on the front so you push that and you can be able to push that down for coarse adjustment. When you want to release it you release it you press it and it just springs back out again it springs back out automatically but if you go to a course adjustment and you want to adjust it for micro adjustment there is adjustment knob just in here you can just see that just there and you can adjust the the actual plate to give you micro adjustment now when you're getting down to really really fine stuff and you got that sort of like right down like that it's a bit hard to get your fingers in there it is really really hard it is it, you know it, you can't I, I, I've got you know average size fingers I think and it's it's quite hard to get them in there so they built in a uh, I don't know if you can see that or not but there is a um, uh, what do they call it? a wrench you'll be able to put an allen wrench in the bottom of there and you can also micro adjust from the bottom if you really really need to so they they bought built that sort of like feature into it and they thought about it beforehand so if people can't adjust by the by the knob, knob that's actually here they can put the allen wrench in the bottom uh, the other feature i found is the is the uh actual bit changing and everything else on here bit changing is absolutely a breeze now if you want to bit change and everything else you pull this out like that and that locks the spindle in place I'll just wind that up and you, you can actually see that the spindle there is now locked in place and that's there and you, you can put your, put your wrench on there or spanner as they're called uh, any way you want to and you can undo or do up no problem whatsoever and you don't have to hold a button in or you or, or anything like that it's automatically held for you no problem when you're finished you just push it back in and off you go so 
it is a standard 17 mil and the spanner that comes along with it I was quite impressed actually it's not a press steeled spanner like you find on a lot of uh, routers it's actually a proper forged spanner uh, chrome vanadium forged so it, it, it's they, they, they thought about this and obviously if you're spending a little bit of money on one of these then you want a decent spanner to actually undo the undo the collet nut you know it's not nothing that's you know pressed out of a piece of steel and given to you so there's lots of different features that that, uh, that comes with this uh, they, they say that it, 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 if you drop it it will automatically switch off when you're using it I don't really want to go and test that fe that, that feature um, that's, a, that's, a, that's a big no-no for me um, on the other side of this uh, you can see that we have all the normal sort of livery you know they've got the Bosch and the, 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 you know, the RPMs max RPMs that it goes to this knob, this knob here that there is for locking in when you when you've got this set to the right height if you want you just lock that down and that locks it in position so it doesn't move you're ensuring that it doesn't move it doesn't when I, I, I've, I've used it a couple of times without them that locked up but it just ensures that it doesn't lock up or anything like that but it, there's nothing really fantastic about the back of the router at all um, the front of the router obviously it has um, it has a uh, the on off switch there which is able to use by your thumb if you're a right handed person um, it also has a battery indicator light um, just there um, now I, I would like to, to I would like to have had the battery indicator light actually on the batteries so I don't have to put it into the router and switch the router on to find out how much battery is actually on my on, on my batteries or you know how much charge is on the batteries put it that way you know I'd rather have uh, an indicator actually on the battery so I can pick up the battery and say yeah that one doesn't need charging that one's okay or whatever um, so you know Bosch is sort of like dropped the ball on that one but this it's not a it's not a, not a big deal you know what I mean at the end of the day you know we're not we're not routing with batteries we're routing with the router so you know it, it's it's it's, it's good things and bad things you know with everything um, but they, they do do a bigger battery a bigger capacity battery but it's a huge thing that sort of like comes out that way somewhere you know, dare say if you was to search online you better find some bigger batteries it actually goes in there but I found that these small ones I'll put that to one side for a second these small ones here are just ideal for going into the um, router itself and they are just an ideal size um, don't know what, how many cells there actually is in there in, in that thing I imagine there's only about three cells in there by looking at it but they are 12 volt and they are rated at 2 amp hour and you can see just see that on there I'll put that up for you so you can actually see but I've got two of the two of these batteries and I haven't even run one down yet I found that they are very very good very very good um, you know I, I've done qu quite a, quite a lot of trim routing at the weekend and I found that they are very very good for, for the capacity of them um, nearly, nearly in comparison with the 4 amp power I've got of Ryobi but that says a lot for the difference in price as well because these were a lot more money for these batteries than what it was for a Ryobi battery even though the Ryobis were 4 amp powers well anyway, as I, as I needed the batteries, I needed the charger. Now this charger is, uh, I didn't even look at the rating or anything like that, I just know that it charges the battery. I really didn't really care about the rating of it, because just whack another one on when you're not, not worried when you're doing something else, aren't you? But as the two charge indicators, it tells you a red and a green, uh, tells you, and it gives you all of the, tells you all of what they are on the front here. Um, so in it's it's got vents in the top so just in case it overheats it's nothing special about a charger it's a charger is a charger and I, don't, I even I undone the undone the wire look it's 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 still still in the way it is but um you know charger is a charger but it's an extra thing that you had to go and buy because 
the, the router itself only comes as a bare tool. Now, what I've set up here is just a piece of scrap pine, um, and I'll just put a, a little bit of a chamfer on there just to show you people at home how good this router is. And uh, so let's get to it. There we are. There's the nice, I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not, but there's a nice chamfer there just along there on the on the on the uh, pine and that does a really really nice tidy job and what else could you say about it? You know, it does exactly what it says on the tin. Now, as you probably heard, um, the router itself is quite low in RPMs. Um, this one runs out, if I got a, funny enough, I got to have a look at this, this is 13, 1300 RPM for here, I don't know whether you can pick that up on the camera or not, but it's, it does actually say there is 1300 RPM, which you would think that, you know, that's quite low for a router. Um, so, it, compared to the old Cryobi, which is just here. Uh, this one um, it says 29,000 RPM, but it's that is reflected in. Uh, let's, let's go back here a little bit. That okay. <laughs> that is also reflected in the amount of um, uh, noise that it actually puts out as well. There we are. I've just set this up now with a half inch, I think it's a half inch radius round over bit. And you can see there that it's done a perfect, I'll try and get that in, in the, now you can see there it's done an absolute perfect there round over. There's the chamfer on that side and there's the perfect round over on this side. Absolutely beautiful. And you know, you couldn't ask for anything better than that and it was minimal setup to do this as well. I just put it, chucked it up in the, in the actual router set it to what the height for, I just looked along and looked at the router and it was brilliant. So there we are, a bit quick overview of different features and stuff on the on this router. Now there are a few different things that I haven't told you about uh, with this uh, with this router is that compared to my old Ryobi trim router obviously it's night and day but this unit here is actually brushless. Now if you um, obviously heard through when I had it switched on and running along the piece of wood it stopped nearly dead on straight away. Uh, my old Royal, Royal B router carries on for a, a good couple of seconds afterwards. This is instant off and it shuts off. Now that's because it's a brushless router up against my old Royal B which has got brushes and there, it, obviously that makes a lot of difference and this is much more long longevity on the batteries that's why these batteries will stay going for quite a long time even though they are only little two amp hour batteries they are really really good um, 
so a couple of other features that I did didn't tell you about about this as well. Um, you've probably seen it in other videos as well. But while you're handing on to this, there is a couple of little stops on the back here. So you've got somewhere to put your finger to stop you from putting your fingers actually into the bit itself. Now, that being said, you know, it depends on the height and everything else and how you are handed to use it. Uh, but there is one on the left hand side as well. So if you're a lefty, you can always put your finger there as well. So there's no big deal. Um, about um, uh, using it or anything like that but I've used it now for whoa, must be what three four weeks now and if I want to go trim a bit of wood or anything like that or flush flush trim a piece of wood this is the go-to one to go to you know this is the one I go to now my my old my old my old Ryobi one um, it's kind of come a bit redundant now so uh, Anyway, there there it is. I've done a little bit, little bit of what I, well, two pence worth that I've actually found with it. I'm sure that there's other things that um, you would find when if you got one, um, in it, or if you want to buy one. So uh, there it is. It's it's absolutely a brilliant little thing. Odd shape. I must admit, it's a very very odd shape to to for, you think for for a router. You expect to have a more cylindrical shape. Uh, just a little bit like the old Cryobi here you'll find it a little bit more cylindrical but it's, it's not but uh, it's, it's I find it a brilliant little thing anyway there we are um, now if you want to contact me on the usual social channels I have uh, Facebook Instagram Twitter and that sort of thing I do actually have um, I've, I've added it to the list as well and the um, the uh, list down below um, for my 3D warehouse. Uh, I've put up a lot of models that I've done on SketchUp. Um, they're free to download. Anyone can download them, view them. They can take them apart, modify them, do whatever they want to them. Um, but they're there for anyone to have a good look at. Um, if you want to make any of the, the, the models that I've actually built, uh, in your workshop then you're quite welcome to do so just take them apart put the measurements on there whatever you want and get off you go so uh, anyway there, there, there they are there's all the, the the social media channels and um, please subscribe to the channel and leave comments down below so that's all I ask and uh, I will see you again on the next one bye bye